Now we will see the next process uh, called reduction in which uh, roasted or calcined ore is converted into crude metal. So uh, in this process, we uh, choice of uh, reducing agent is very important. So it depends on the nature of ores, what kind of ore is there. So let us see one by one this process. First is reduction by carbon carbon monoxide. Why we are choosing carbon? Why carbon monoxide? Why the reason is that carbon is available in large quantities. It is very cheap. It is available in large quantities and some less reactive metals which is le less reactive than carbons like uh, lead, tin and uh, zinc can be easily uh, reduced by the carbon monoxide. Uh, group 1, group 2, these cannot be reduced because they will form carbide with the carbon. Now here we will see one method smelting in which how carbon is utilized to reduce the metal. So what is smelting? It is a process of extraction of metal in fused or molten state in which ores is heated with suitable reagent in order to get metal and this process is carried out in blast furnace. In this smelting process, uh, so this uh, steel ores contain some impurities. So we add some flux also to remove that impurities from the during the smelting process. So we have concentrated ores uh, which contains we have concentrated ores which contains infusible impurities and again this is mixed with the fusible impurity which is called as flux so this is present uh, in this flux can only combine with this infusible impurities and they become slag what is the advantage of this slag slag first slag is that slag float on molten metals it has low melting point and this uh, layer of slag it prevents the molten metal from further oxidation so these are the advantage of slag again we have two type of impurities, one is acidic impurities, one is basic impurities. Acidic impurities means silica oxide, basic impurities means calcium oxide. So against this acidic impurities, to remove this impurity, we have to add basic flux like calcium carbonate and calcium oxide, that is magnesium oxide. So this plus this, this will give you calcium silicate plus carbon dioxide. If, you if your impurity is basic, it will combine with the acidic flux. So this plus this will give you calcium silicate. Acidic uh, flux are silicon oxide. Uh, potassium P2O5, B2O3, boron oxide. So these are the oxides which are called as acidic oxides. These oxides are called as basic flux depending on the type of impurities. Now let us see how this will help in removing uh, this uh, impurities as a uh, slag from the with the help of flux. So uh, in uh, iron ore, ores in iron ore, Fe2O3 is there. So here we are taking. You can see here. So it contains silica oxide as a acidic impurity. So here we are adding calcium carbonate flux. So this will become a calcium silicate. Again this ore contains P2O5. So here you add flux. So flux will combine with this impurities will get thomas slag. This calcium phosphate called a thomas slag. It has another advantage. It can be used in cement manufacturing and phosphorus fertilizer. Sometimes questions are asked from here also. In copper pyrite, Cu FeS2, if you heat it, you will get Cu2 as FeS and O2. Again, FeS plus O2, they will combine and they will give you FeO. This is the basic impurities. To remove this impurities, we are adding SiO2. So, this is called SD plus. This will give you FeSiO3, calcium, so iron, silicate. Here, I here one more is missing magnesium oxide plus sulfur oxide. will give magnesium sulfide. This is also a magnesium sulfide. It is also a flux. Oh, sorry, slide. So, now... After removing the slags, what is the use of reducing agent? So, uh, reducing agent when combined with the oxides, so they will give you directly carbon and car crude metal plus carbon monoxides. If the if again iron oxides combined with the carbon monoxide can give you iron plus carbon dioxide. Again, iron oxide combined with the carbon monoxide, they will give you carbon. So, in every case, oxide is easily removed by the carbon and carbon monoxide. So, co coke and carbon monoxide is acting as a good reducing agent. Agent. So this is the process of smelting. Let us see another process. So next is your uh, self-reduction and auto-reduction process. Self-reduction and auto-reduction process. So here we do not require any external agent is required. No required. So here number of elements are very limited. Like mercury oxide, lead oxide, copper oxide, antimony. So only these metals are self-reduced. How it is reduced? Let us see through the examples. This is your cinnabar, SGS. In presence of oxygen roasting, we will get this mercury oxide and gas is liberated out. So this oxide acting a reducing agent, you can see here, and it will separate the sulfur from the 
cinnabar. So we will get here crude metal. Similarly, uh, this one copper glass you can see this acting as a reducing and you will get the pure impure copper is called as a blister copper also which contain 98% copper similarly galena you can see this oxide is there again reacting with the galena we will get impure copper so in this way both are liberated after this the self reduction methods we will see another method that is called reduction by metal in these methods uh, group 1 group 2 and aluminium they reduce less electro positive metals like chromium copper manganese here uh, if you are using aluminium as a reducing agent then this process is special process is called as gold skimmed alumino thermite process and again this process is implied when the metals have high melting point means this metals chromium copper magnets have a high melting point so let us see how this process is utilized so this is your clay crucible i have drawn this diagram clay crucible which contains metal oxide like Fe2O3 plus as aluminum powder in the 3 to 3 ratio. This is a one specific example. And this top portion is some calcium fluoride. This is some calcium fluoride to protect from the external atmosphere. Magnesium ribbon is there, and this is ignition mixture. This, this you can see bag like a structure is ignition mixture which contains magnesium powder. Uh, uh, which is a plus potassium chloride and barium oxide. What is the use of this one? They will give you oxygen and help in burning and maximum uh, powder will immediately uh, give fire. So when oxygen plus fire, they will give more uh, oxygen and fire, then what will suddenly temperature becomes increased. So ignition uh, mixture make the surrounding temperature very exothermic with high temperature. And in this high temperature, what happens? This is a mixture. So aluminum plus Fe2O3, both will present in molten states. Now in molten state aluminum it is a very easy for the aluminum to extract oxygen from the iron. So it will extract, react with oxygen and it will form air 2 O3 and iron plus large amount of heat is produced. You can see the magnesium react with the barium peroxide they will give you barium oxide, magnesium oxide and large amount of heat. So this this process which is used to extracting uh, this one iron Ox iron from the iron oxide by the aluminium is used for welding railway tracks. So this is uh, again one of the important questions which is being asked in the examination. So this is important. Now if you take other oxide metals Cr2O3 uh, again with are active with aluminium they will give you chromium in liquid state Al2O3 plus heat. Again if you take Mn3O4 reacting with aluminium they will give you manganese and this oxide. So again aluminium very important metal to reduce the other metallic oxide which is less reactive than metals to get their metal in pure state. After this, uh, we will see another method that is called electrolytic, met uh, electrolytic method and this electrolytic method is very common methods and this process called electrometallurgy. Uh, ores of highly electropositive like group 1, group 2 metal cannot be reduced by common reducing method like hydrogen and karma. These metal, group 1, group 2 cannot be reduced because they are highly electropositive. So the, uh, to reduce them, we require very high temperature to make it molten state. But I, hi, at high temperature, what happens? Carbon will react with that, uh, the, uh, that metals and carbide formation take place. So some substances are added to lower the fusion temperature. This is the one principle. First, we make the temperature very high so that the metal will be in lower state. Again, to uh, make them reactions, we have to make the temperature very fusion temperature very low. So I have drawn one diagram of uh, alumina. How to extract aluminium from the alumina. So you can see this diagram. So in this diagram, uh, we can see one big tank is there. This is your steel tank. This is your steel tank. In this uh, tank, we can see uh, this is your graphite rods. Three are graphite rods. Okay, this is acting as anode and this is your cathode negative and uh, this is a uh, red line you can see this uh, inner part of the lining is actually carbon lining in which cathode is attached this solutions contain which these three graphite rods are immersed this contains uh, cryolite uh, floors per alumina in uh, this ratio 60 20 20 ratios are there more percentage of alumina this uh, cryolite and less percent of alumina and we can see here last part some molten ammonium is present and this molten ammonium is heavier than alumina this is very important now what are the problem the problem comes if you take a pure alumina pure alumina is a bad conductor of electricity okay this is one problem and pure alumina melts at 2000 degrees centigrade so if you take if you uh, increase the temperature up to 2000 degrees centigrade what will happen at this temperature aluminium will form vapor 
okay and uh, it will be vapor so we won't get aluminium in a motor state it will convert into vapor phase to vapor it to condense the metal into vapor from vapor state is very difficult task so that is not a uh, feasible method to increase the temperature so we have to decrease this temperature so to decrease this temperature what we are doing we are adding cryolite Na3AlF6 which is present in the solutions and calcium fluoride fluoride spark it will decrease the temperature this temperature up to 900 to 950 degree centigrade okay second advantage of cryolite is that if you add this uh, substance it will increase the electric conductive conductance of the fused mixer so there is two advantage one advantage it will decrease the fusion temperature a second advantage of adding cryolite is to increase the conductance so how uh, aluminium is extracted from the cryolite and alumina so let us see the uh, chemical reaction so one concept is that if, so alf3 that we get from the cryolite it is uh, decomposed into al3 plus and 3f minor so what happens at cathode this al3 will take one electrons and this is your reduction take place uh, you, uh, and uh, uh, fluoride ion at anode it will take uh, oxidation take place so what will happen electron will be lost now this fluoride it will react with aluminium al2o3 alumina in the potent states and it will convert to alf3 again alf3 is again uh, utilized like this thing an oxygen release this oxygen combine uh, react with the carbon so they can form carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide again the carbon may react with the alumina so some form of aluminium carbide also reacts so when this carbon it attacks is being attacked by the oxygen so uh, large number of times carbon anodes are replaced frequently here one more important thing if we, if the as concentration of alumina here we can see alumina is decreasing so as concentration of alumina is decreasing so due to decrease uh, decrease of, of alumina resistance of the cell increases so uh, we are adding alumina regularly in the in this tank frequently so carbon and alumina is added frequently and finally we get molten aluminum.